eFit Simulator is a phenomenal virtual fitting tool which allows the user to fit and analyze multiple garments on a digital replica of the fit model. You simply load the model and bring in the pattern created in Tukicad. The first step is to place the panels in relative position to the model. This can be done manually or this can be done automatically from a previously placed panel configuration. So once the pieces are placed in position, we now go into stitching mode. The stitching can be done manually by selecting each segment or we can call up a previously saved stitching configuration. After stitching is completed, I can turn on my stitch lines in perspective view to make sure that all my lines are even and not crossed. Once stitching is completed, we will now drape the garment onto the body. This will take a few seconds and you can see all the panels coming together and all the stitch lines closing up. When this is complete, we now have a final draping. If we want to see the lining pieces underneath the shell pieces and if they fit properly, we can go into the x-ray mode and you can now see the pieces that are underneath the shell fabric. Draping of multiple garments can be done in eFit Simulator. As you see here, we are taking a t-shirt and now going to drape this on top of the pant. Now, once the shirt is draped onto the model, I can also apply animations such as raising the arms up and down to test the fabric and see how it reacts with movement. A variety of animations may be applied to the virtual fit model so that the end user can visually evaluate the total fit of the garments. When we are satisfied with the overall fit, we can now go to our texture library and actually apply the color and texture of the actual fabric that will go on to both garments. First, I'm starting with the shirt. I place my texture onto the panels, and then I have the option to change the tiling. I can scale it up and down, and also left and right. You will notice once you apply a texture, the draping stays intact. Now, we're going back into our texture library and selecting a texture for the pant. We can preview our textures from our file folder and when we want our texture we select it and then we can apply it by windowing up on all the panels and applying the fabric onto the panels. Here again I'm changing the tiling and the scale factor. Once again we do not need to redrape or reanimate once the texture is applied. To complete our outfit, the virtual model will now wear a leather vest. Notice the stitching details on the vest and the special effects added to give the appearance of leather. At any point in the animation, I can turn on my camera, capture a screenshot of the model in the desired pose, save the shot in a standard file format, and email it to everyone involved. Even better than the snapshot is the ability to output the file in a full motion video. The video can then be emailed to everyone in the product development process.